I've got some staggering car payment statistics to share with you, numbers you might relate to, unfortunately. And over the past year, auto delinquencies have been on the rise. They currently stand at the highest level since 1996. This increase puts rates of delinquency back to pre-pandemic levels. One major trigger of borrowers becoming delinquent is higher interest rates. Let's get right to it. The average monthly payment for a new car, $729. The average monthly payment for used cars, $528. New cars cost, on average, $47,899. The average loan term for a new car, 68 months. The average loan rate for a new car, 6.63%. The average loan term for a used car, 67 months, just one month less. And the average loan rate for a used car, 11.38%. Drivers pay, on average, for a down payment, over $4,000 for a used vehicle, on average. According to the Federal Reserve, the average car loan balance across the country on average is $5,470. Here are the 10 states with the highest car loan balances in the country. Are you on this list? These higher balances are partly due to a few macro environmental issues across the country and are not just state specific. One major factor is the issue of supply versus demand. Although vehicle inventory has been increasing the last few months, the number of units available in the country is still below pre-pandemic levels due to supply chain issues. This caused the cost of available cars to rise, forcing drivers to finance even more. Along with this, drivers have been choosing longer loan terms to lower their monthly cost of their car payments. Average used vehicle terms in the second quarter of this year reached 67.42 months. New vehicle terms told a similar story, as I mentioned, with drivers financing for an average of 68 0.12 months. Take a look at these average car payments by state here. The average monthly payment figures for each state were calculated using a combination of the average used car price and interest rate for each state, along with the national average loan term. However, they didn't factor in down payment, which would reduce the monthly payment. Now, drivers can take anywhere from 24 to 84 months to pay off their vehicles. A few lenders even offer 96 month terms. A longer term lowers the monthly cost, but it does lead to a higher cost overall. Of course, the interest rate you pay for your vehicle is based on a variety of factors, such as your credit, the vehicle type, and the term you use. On average, drivers can expect to pay around 6.63% for a new car and 11.38% for a used, according to data from Experian. Look at these average used car prices by state. Again, due to remaining supply chain issues and limited inventory, vehicle prices hit a record high earlier this year. However, in recent months, new vehicle average transaction prices actually went down. September's average was $47,899, which is actually down $360 from this time last year. Used vehicle prices, on the other hand, are up since last year, but have been remaining below $27,000. Used vehicle inventory and day supply are tighter year over year as of October, which can mean higher prices ahead. In terms of vehicle types, SUVs remain the most popular, surpassing 60% of financed vehicles in the second quarter of this year. Now let's talk about car loan delinquency by state. These are some ugly numbers. Texas, which has the highest average car loan balance, has the 13th highest average delinquency at 4.47%, Mississippi leads with 6.1%, notably higher than the other national averages displayed here on this list. TransUnion research found that consumers are prioritizing making payments on their cars almost as much as they do making mortgage payments. Borrowers put vehicle payments ahead of credit card payments. It makes sense, right? Your vehicle is likely among your most valuable assets and thus you're likely highly motivated to avoid repossession. Let's finish on a positive note. States with the lowest car loan balance. Are you on this list? Hawaii takes the gold for the lowest average auto loan balance, followed closely by Massachusetts. These states carry averages dramatically lower than the national average of 5,470. But as I mentioned, the auto loan balance is independent of zip code and rather relates to the economic circumstances of the people who buy them. If you are in the market for a new or used vehicle, be sure to get a good quote, a fair quote, a low quote 
from a qualified dealership in your area. Use quotes.everymandriver.com as a free search engine. Just choose your make, model, and zip code. If you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code, expand that zip code. Be willing to travel a few miles to save a few hundred, possibly a few thousand dollars on a new or used vehicle. That's quotes.everymandriver.com. There's also a link below this video. Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.